People sometimes ask if this group was so significant and so effective, why did they come to an end? They had a really good run. They continued on for about 17 years. Uh, they were very successful, and even after the active period of the group, members of the group continued to meet from time to time. But something happened toward the end of their time together that really changed the nature of the group. And that's that one of the members of the Inklings, a guy named Hugo Dyson, didn't like the Lord of the Rings. So Tolkien would bring a chapter of his book and Dyson would moan and groan, he'd roll his eyes, he'd say, oh no, not another bloody elf, carry on, and Tolkien would put the work away, refuse to read on, even though he was encouraged by the other members of the group to continue with his story. What Dyson was doing was really shutting down or ending the conversation. The Inklings could take any number of criticisms, even the sharpest criticisms, because to criticize well is to stay engaged in the process. But what Dyson did was dismiss it. I don't want to hear it. And that shut down that open exchange, that sense of safety and, and freedom within the group. And I think that it led to the group finally kind of winding down to the end of reading works in progress and eventually to the disbanding of the group altogether.